I want to see a miniature version of everything in the world. That's the long-term dream. My name is Talia Silveri. I live in Wallingford in Seattle and I make art. I consider myself a miniaturist. I create sculpture mostly um, using sculpty clay and found objects to create either likenesses or original imagined creatures. A lot of what I do is bringing inanimate objects to life and I like to to personify things and and give them kind of their own credit in the world. Lots of pieces in Seattle because this is where I live. I'm interested in doing miniature Fremont Troll reboot because that stayed for about six months and we've done lots of pieces in Pioneer Square, miniature cones all over the city. I That's one that I don't plan out in advance. I have the different, I like to call them different species of cones, the thick tubby ones, the skinny ones, the regular OG ones, with the white stripe, and I'll just put those down anywhere. That's like, that's my graffiti equivalent to the people who do the stickers. I do the mini cones. I've had people ask me, what comes first, the miniature or the place? And the answer to that is that it's different for everyone. I was compelled to make a miniature version of the 26 bus, which I placed on the sign. We were voting on whether or not taxpayers wanted to fund these buses and in danger of the buses being cut, the 26 line was one of the ones on the chopping block. And so that was probably my first kind of like political piece with the port being closed. I'm really excited to put some miniature shipping containers down there. You know, a story like that forces you to think about the, the sheer scale of those containers. And that's a huge part of my work, right? I, I work in a miniature scale. And so when I'm thinking about recreating something, I am so in tune with the scale of that object. Honestly, the, the political aspect, you know, what I'm thinking about current events, I, I'm educating myself, but it's very literal, you know, it's literally like, you know, a picture of Lincoln or a miniature version of the ship, the, you know, there's, there's nothing conceptual about that. It's just the, the conceptual part of it is, you know, for me, the scale and the relationship of, of objects and, and sort of where when we shrink things down to an ant size, you know, how do they matter any less than the real thing? So I'm always exploring that relationship. Thank you.